Yep. Back out. Skeletor. No, I can just keep the chill off. Aye. I'm in a familiar place and I'll tell you why. There's a horse. Horse? I said, Hoose! Is that interested? Uh, in a familiar place because the weather has been terrible. It's been raining heavy for the last few days. And um, everywhere's sodden, soaking wet, muddy. It's not nice. So I'm going to go somewhere where I think it's going to be okay, dryish. Hello. No. Um, dryish. And we'll get this. I'm going to try out the new tent. I'll put links for it in the description. Looks good. I only had it up in the garden, so we'll see what it's like out in the wild. So easy it is to set up and that. Aye. Aye. A new stove, new cook system. From Fire Maple. So we'll try that out later. I'll show you that. But for now, it's just a nice walk. And I've come up uh, to 35,000 feet above the snow line. Don't know how I'm going to cope. Look at this. Whoa. Hello. It's uh, a foggy sunset. Atmos atmospheric. Very. It's very atmospheric up here. There's not a sound. And guess what? There's no wind. The wind has gone. It's brilliant. What a difference it makes when you're not in the wind. Fighting for your breath. Everything's getting blown away. It's freezing cold. I'm absolutely sweating. But I'm not going to complain. Because there's no wind. So I'm headed there. Up to the Easter Tor. Ah, oh, man. There's one bit there. It's really steep coming up that last. Just up to the road of destiny. Dead steep. Knacked us. But here we are, in the beautiful Chivy Otts. Yeah, they had some um, pr pretty mad weather through the week. Like, I'm just hoping that my little spot isn't waterlogged. That won't be good. Fingers crossed, eh? I have got a footprint, but, you know, it's not a footprint, is it? It's the uh, best of yours and what you're standing when you get out. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. That's mad, that. It's like something out of a sci-fi. Dune. Have you seen, anybody seen Dune? Mint, not like. I like it. Listen, though. How good is that? Here we are, at the top. Oh, look at this. It's like, wow, wow. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go around the corner to my usual spot, see if it's okay. If it's not, <laughs> I'm in a world of shit, but hopefully it will be. I'm going to set this camera up here and time lapse that because look at that. That's nice, man. Right. Here we go. Cue the music. Star. 
But that was amazing. I wasn't expecting that. Always expect the unexpected. Uh, while you were away watching that, I was setting the tent up. It's a little bit squelchy, but I really don't have a choice. So I've had to set it up where I am. In an um, upcoming video, I'll be talking about this coat. This coat, just put it on, synthetic. I was freezing up there, because you know when you stop and you're sweating and you get cold. So I put this on, instantly warm like. It's lovely, oh, it's so comfortable. It's a through dark Ixath, Axith, Ixath, Ixath, I don't know how you say it. I'm gonna do a, 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 I'll use it for a while and then see how it performs and then I'll talk about it more. But for now, it's performed amazing. Lovely and warm. Synthetic as well, it's not down. I've got the Rab Microlite jacket. And this is much warmer. So I think this, this coat's aimed at the Microlite users. Uh, so something to talk about later on. I've done a few more trials, I should say. Look, here's sheep trying to pinch me. Pinch me spot. What are you doing here? Oh, so we live here. What are you doing here? Well, you do live here. And I do apologise for encroaching on your territory. But you know. I do no harm. Here's the tent. Ooh, it went up lovely. Albeit it's in a soggy bit, but forget about that. Look at that, it's gone up really nice. It's gone better than it was in the garden. The, the creases have ironed out this bit guy laying on there guy laying on there because that was folded right in wasn't it it was a lot worse than that in the garden but no it's good plenty room look at all this all this space oh i'll have to get the light on yeah but i'm happy with that it's gone up lovely it's nice and sturdy oh, i'll be it's not windy ideal time to test a new tent is when it's not windy because you don't know if it's going to survive the wind am I? look at Yeverin Bell over there look at that amazing make it some good uh, make it some good inversions in the morning to be up and see right for now I'm going to finish off setting up and we'll come back and I'll get the lights on so we can see what we're doing what a night so glad I came out nearly didn't come out Here we are then, we are all set up in the tent, tent of dreams like, it's mint, there's loads of space in here, oh, I'm just sitting on, I'm sitting on the bag, I'm trying to pick the bag up, right, there we go, bag's all nicely, poofy it up, that sleep seat or something, I'm getting a new sleep mat from the same people who made the tent, so, they reckon it's an R rate and a 5.6. We will see. We'll find out. Silver foil. Couple of beers. Notice the fuel bottle over there, right? I've got the uh, new fire mate with a bit of kit. Let's store everything in here. That's gas for me boiler. This is the uh, burner. It might look familiar to people. Of a certain age. Pot grass down in there. But, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's one of these. A frying pan. A little bag it comes in, a mesh bag. Remember how it was setting up? Oh, yeah. Right on. So, that goes on the bottom, it sits on there like that, and locks on, this little locks on there, and then you put them on, hang these in, these four, they come with it like, that's like one of them Chinese puzzles in it, <laughs> and they'll join together. There we go. There's a space amount of it. 
Put your sweet pot on. All right, put your put the burner in there. There you go. Saucepan with a lid. Also a frying pan with the grab. It's got a nice movement to it, that pot grab. So what I'm gonna do tonight is cook up a bit of chili con carne in there with a bit of rice, which is nice. Brought tin tomatoes, man. Um, I've got that just to boil some water because this I've, I have got a uh, I have got a titanium mug which would fit on there to boil water, but I didn't. I forgot to bring it. That's me. I always forget something. That pot's great. Loads in there. You fit loads in. It's huge, the pot. But it all just falls away. It all falls away into itself. Yep, so we'll be cooking on that later on. Let's see how that goes. I've got the, uh, the fuel bottle. A spare, a spare bit of fuel in there. Yeah, obviously, got to fasten that down. Oh, it spills out. So it's, it's, all, it's all watertight. That's quite tight. That's got some fuel in it. It hasn't spilled out, so that's good. That's sealed well. All right, so it's good. Fire metal. Check out the link. All the links will be in the description. Links for all the gear. Getting some real quality stuff at the minute. Like it's come out well. This tent's mint. I'm amazed at this tent, it's huge inside. There's loads of room, if you get two of you, you get two people in here, easy. I mean, if you're, you know, if you're cooking or anything like that, you just put the, put the mats on top of each other there. And you've got all this sitting sitting area here to do your admin. So you, and then when you go to bed, you just pull your mat over and then you're in bed. Get the, the backpack can go in the, in the porch. I went over this in the video, but yeah, it's good. This is out in the field. And what a field, that sunset, it's still going down. Right, we'll come back when we start cooking, I think. I'm going to just chill out for a while with the radio. Yep. Oh, head torch off. Right, I'll tell you what, if we've done this right, we should just be able to light this now. Is that right? No. I think that's on now. Yeah, it's on. That's burning new. So let's get the um it's bioethanol I'm using. That's on Amazon, bioethanol, two bottles of bioethanol. I think it was about 150 lit 150 litres. 150 mil <laughs> in each bottle. It's 11 quid. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's, if I take the light away, that, that's working. Yeah, see, this is a nice blue, little flame. Nice warm and little flame. So what, what you do is you let it get, let it get a hold. And then we're gonna start, we'll put the spray, the spray light. And then we'll put all the chopped ingredients. I chopped all these last night. I've got mushrooms, peppers, chili and garlic in there. I've got some chorizo that I um, chopped up. Chorizo, chorizo. And some nice butchers, beef mince, British butchers. One pound 84 there for uh, 230 grams. Should be enough. One pound 84, you know, it's cheap, isn't it? Yeah, should be all right. Yeah, like that. That's where now. So I'll just let it get a hold, and then we'll put the pan on. Put the, you just put the pan on like that. That's a two-liter pot. So that's not bad, is it? Two liters. Oh yeah, I've got a tin of chopped tomatoes as well. Got to have tomatoes in chili, haven't you? Uh, to go with it. I've got some cheese to sprinkle on the top. Not everybody's cup of tea, that, but you know, that's me. And some 
nice Benz, spicy chili. Uncle Bensky beats British price, gas prices too high and yeah, it's hard to do. I've also brought my 15 pound salt and pepper. That's from the Camargue region of France. 15 pound for a jar. 15 quid. Little <coughs> spat layer. A little spat layer to stir it up with. And I've got the uh, the snuff box. So when you're finished with it, you just lift, throw that on. And it'll put the light out. Fire maple. Yeah, it's good. It's nice and light, you know, this. It's quite lightweight. So yeah, we'll come back when we're on on the sizzle. Here we go then. It's cooking nicely. Got the tomatoes, uh, the peppers, on mushrooms, onions, garlic in. Oh, it smells lovely. That nice man. And you know it's just simmering away. It's not burning or anything. It's great. This is mint. This is the future for me cooking on this now. I'm liking it. Why the hell? Why did I not buy one of these years ago? It's so nice as well. There's no raw and gas. It's just just floating away there. Nice, floating away. <clears throat> I got this siren craft brew. Don't hold back. Vegan friendly. It's uh, two pant. What does that mean? <laughs> Don't hold back. Plenty of mango, grapefruit and pine nuts. Right, I'm not getting the mango, but I'm getting the grapefruit. Grapefruit is a bit of a killer, isn't it? Of flavour. Because it's a... It's a flavour killer. Grapefruit. So, yeah. If I'm just sitting here doing my thing. If you know what I mean. Um, I'm just going to let this all cook. There's no, there's no smell coming from that bioethanol. That's the fuel to use, like. It's good. In the pot, if I look on the bottom of the pot, it's not getting black. So it's good. Just watch your tent, though, you know. Just keep it away from the edge. Because the late, the flames tend to come up. Occasionally they'll have a little bit of a lick. So just watch these dangling bits. I'll tie that. I'll tie that back a bit better than that. But yeah, so far so good. <laughs> it's hard to see. I'll put the tomatoes in. A bit of water. And the chorizo. The chorizo then. So it's got a nice flavour. Oh, that's all right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the I'm just going to let that sizzle away for about what 15 20 minutes and that should be it ready to go oh, I'll chuck the rice in I'll chuck the rice in later and then that'll, that'll just warm through the rice and it'll be all right yeah happy with that I'm happy with that uh, cooking system like that is mint I'm going to be using this a lot. I do some more stews, curries, all that. And you can just sit and let it go. I mean, I'm early. It's 25 past 7 now, and I normally don't eat until about 8. So if I just let that simmer away, that'll be about right, 8 o'clock. Nice. I haven't burnt myself once. That's it. It's done. It's cooked. I got the um on the oh, wait a minute. on the burner. You know you've got the simmer ring, so you can move that. You can twist that so you can have a like simmer, and then if you open it fully, it'll boil. I did forget about it. So it's caught the bottom of the pan a bit like that's my fault that. But this is cooked. And I've had a little try. That's lovely. Now I'm gonna ruin it, right? So you purists, look away. Because I like cheese on my chili. 
chili and cheese. It's a winning combo, I like. And I like a lot of cheese. Oh, I'll try it out in. Hell with it. I like a lot of cheese. I like a lot of cheese, and I cannot lie. So I'm going to put the lid on. Let that just melt a bit. And then come back to it. Perfection. Oh, that chilli's nice. Got a nice little kick as well. With all I chopped some chilies up. I chopped a few chilies up and put them in. Onions, garlic. Nice. The only thing that's missing is kidney beans. But they, they didn't have little tins. I looked for the small tins of kidney beans. Didn't have any. Just the grip big tins. I couldn't be asked drinking that up, bringing that up here. So... That's it, I'm going to turn off the camera, put the music back on, and um, have that. We are more TV. Come on. Can I just say, right, that was absolutely lovely. There's the pot and the pan. And look, there's the pan. I've just wiped it out with a bit of kitchen roll. It's absolutely non stick. I just wiped it with kitchen roll. Always bring kitchen roll. You know, I mean, I'll get it in the sink in the morning, but that's not, there's nothing on there burnt on, is there? Ah, oh, I like it. I'm liking this. There's a little bit of soot on the bottom. That's a chilli. There was a bit of soot on the bottom of the bioethanol, which you'd expect, it just wipes off. Okay, that just wipes off with the kitchen roll, just came straight off. So yeah, it's good. I like it. Fire maple. I'll put the link in the description for it. Not sure if it's available yet. It's a brand new thing that they're doing. I'll have to check. But uh, yep, yeah, I like it. I'm not sure how much fuel it used. I, for that, I mean that took about 40 minutes. And I've put it, the level was about there, and it's there, so that's done all right, that, that feels done all right. Enough to make one good meal. And of course, if you if you carry your, your spare fuel with you, you just top it up. Don't forget to blow it out first, you know. Don't top it up when it's alight, because that would be disastrous. Yeah, good, I like it. Didn't use the fire pan, uh, the frying pan, didn't really need to. But that would just sit on there the same. Let's give it the same thing. And if you take it off, put that on. Um, you know, that moves around, that's, that's your simmer ring. So it depends how much close you have it. Is your simmer. It's hard to do, I should have a tripod. I really need a tripod. Yeah, so anyway, that's just simmering. So the more open it is, the bigger the flame, obviously. You know, you close it for the smaller flame. Close it like that, and then fully close it. And it's enough set out. And don't forget, right, everything that you see here gets really hot. It's very, very hot. There's the uh, the lid for that. I see the O-ring in there. Keep it warm. Uh, keep it sealed so it doesn't leak and it didn't leak either because I had that full and it was inside here on the journey here and it didn't leak there was no leakage at all so that's good it's all good feels nice looks nice anodized and that frying pan is the heaviest thing of all the, the frying pan is heavier than the pot which is bizarre so yeah I like it. Details in the link. So what you think? Hey, hey. Well, I'm a poet and I did not know it. Right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna clear up, put everything away, because I'll be using the um I'll be using the fire maple. <laughs> you know the one. It's all fire maple. I'll be using that the more for the to boil the water. Everything I've got here, 
I think I only paid for like, I paid for the sleep mat. But I am getting a free sleep mat sent. I didn't pay for that, didn't pay for the tent. I bought the trekking poles, bought the gloves. I bought my boots. And I bought my waterproof jacket. And that's about it. Everything else, right, was gifted. And the head torch, gifted, Phoenix. But I've used it for weeks now, all this. The only thing that is new is this, in the tent. Everything else is mint, and it's just really, really good. Oh, the jacket, the jacket as well, gifted. Absolutely brilliant. I'm sitting here, lovely, toasty warm. And it's chilly out there. Hey, chilly. It's chilly in here, man. Hey, get out, man. Give over. Get over yourself. Right. All right. And the little, the little five minute lantern still going strong. That mint that. That is actually my favourite thing of 2023. Is this little lantern? It's great in the van, and it's great in the tent. Bad news about the van. If you follow the van channel, um. I went to use it last week and I tried to select, well I was in first gear, pulled away, went into second or so I thought, the gear stick went back, tried to go into third, wouldn't move, solid, locked solid, so it's stuck in first gear and it's now in the garage with a view to getting a repair done, at what cost I don't know because I don't know what's wrong with it, it's, it's in He's talking about a new gearbox or like recondition you'll send it away and get a um, gearbox specialist to sort it all out new cogs and what have you so oh, i'm not looking forward to that so there's going to be no van videos for a while i'm afraid people who are enjoying them videos i've been scuppered all right i've been stopped in my tracks which is a shame but it'll be back you know it's in it's in the garage now i'll get it repaired and we'll get back on track with doing them lovely van weekends. I like I like that as well. I was just getting into that. The weekend in sales is the one in Annick. I was really looking forward to going somewhere else, but yeah, it's just one of them things I'm afraid when you've got a van like that, you're gonna get problems. New gearbox, and this is while the while the gearbox is out, you might as well put a new clutch in it. So it should come back like brand new, you know. It almost is brand new, it's only five years old. 2019. I'm a bit unhappy about the fact that it needs a new gearbox. If that's what it needs. That's the first thoughts. We'll find out. We'll find out and I'll I'll keep everybody updated. So yeah, the poor van. The poor old van. We got taken away on the back of a breakdown truck the other day and I was I was like that. Oh god. But you know. At least it's in getting sorted. It's just gonna leave us bankrupt. <laughs> Short of a few quid. The more free stuff I can get the better. Because I'm gonna have no money to buy anything. I love that. It's like a tactical piece of I don't know, hardware, it's mint. As know the matte black the matte finish on it is great. Makes it feel military. Anyway, I'm waffling on. So yeah, just get the radio back on, get on with the beer, get on with the night. Catch up with you later. Oh, I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Ah, anyway, so... I'll keep it on. I'll leave it on. Aye, it's, uh, it's after nine o'clock now. Actually, it was just spot on there, uh, like, lovely. Really nice. We'll do that again. I'll use that um cook set again. That was good. I liked it. I liked the fact that it was just you could just leave it, you know, just simmering away. There was no real danger with the um with the flame because it was covered by the pot. You just gotta be careful, you know, with that ethanol stuff when you're burning that. I mean you can use other fuels, but it's all the same liquid fuels and dangerous man. You've got to have the uh plenty of ventilation and not have it near sort of something you can kick over you know if you kick it over you don't even want to think about it it just goes everywhere and the trick is not to panic 
I mean, it's easy enough saying that. When it happens, you really do panic. But, um, yeah, there's not there's not a great deal you can do about it. You've got to cover it, you know. You get, if you've got a cloth or a, a towel or a jacket or a t-shirt or something, just put it over it, you know, and just pat it down. Ooh, it doesn't bear thinking about spilling it, though. Just try not to do it. All right, so that's it. Just going to finish off my beer. And then I'll get into bed. Get warmed up. I'm warm here in the jacket. My, my legs are cold again. I forgot my blooming my tracky bottoms again. I keep doing that. Absolute idiot. Top half, lovely and warm. Legs, chilly. I'll have to start remembering things, you know. I end up in a bloody whip bad way. Alright, so. Oh, been a good night. Great sunset. That was amazing. I wasn't expecting that. Just having this. This is called Invisible Cities. North Brewing Co. North Brewing Co. Nice. Here's the IPA. Oh, blimey. But anyway, right, well, that's it really. We'll, uh, we'll come back in the morning. We'll have a look and see what it's doing out there. Supposedly the forecast was rain overnight, but it's changed to just mist. So I don't know. Let's see. See what it brings. Or we'll just take it. Everything. It doesn't matter. If it rains tomorrow, it doesn't matter. I don't mind. Right. Catch you later. I'm gonna knock this off now. No. It. Morning. Rained overnight, heavy rain. Kept the rain out. It's actually getting in now though, because I've left the door open like a clown. Uh, um, this is my view. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Nice cup of tea, and then I'll walk. I'll go up around there. Down that way, and then down there. I need to be down there eventually. It's an easy enough path; you can't get lost. I've walked it many of the time. <sighs> oh, I slept well. Didn't drink me last can or my wine. I think you know when it, when it gets cold temperature, you don't you don't fancy a drink there. You just want to get to bed. Which is what I did. Be seeing you. Right, I'm going to get the kettle on, folks. Well, I'm in the um, tent just packing away. I'm just going to... I've had a brew. Nice, nice cup of tea. Makes you feel a bit a bit more alive, doesn't it? There's a bag of rubbish. There's a beer I didn't finish. I'll have that later. And a little bottle of wine, which I might keep. I was, I meant to put some of the wine in the chilli last night, didn't I forget? Anyway, uh, wait, not to worry. Um, so yeah, there's the, oh, there's the fire maple. The stove, I mean it's a big unit, but if I've got the other type, you'll know how big it is. It just sits in the bag though, just, that just sits in the bottom of my backpack. And then I just put everything on top of it, and I don't even know it's there. But there'll be links in um, a later video because this hasn't been released yet That's how that's how new it is. It hasn't even been released. They haven't given us the links yet So I'll put them in another video where I'll be out next time making something in that Maybe the next one But don't you don't you um When you're trying to tidy up you put things down and then the tent mice come and move things I've lost the lid for this The tent mice have got it Oh man, I'm so untidy. I'm really untidy. Also, I need a new silver mat. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I think it's seen better days, don't you? <laughs> I've had good use out of it though. I don't know, two and a half, three, yeah, maybe out of that. You get them on eBay. Just look for double, double-sided foil mat. You get them there, about seven or eight quid. Maybe it's 11 pound for the double one. 
So yeah. Oh, here's the lid. Hey. That's it. Just pack that away. I'm gonna um say ta-ra to you. Ew. And get off the hill because this I've got this in the me oh man, I've got this in the media mod and it's not waterproof that. So I'll have to put that in my um, coat pocket and zip it up. Keep it protected from the water. I mean, I'll just get wet, it doesn't matter. I've got a tumble dryer. Let's chuck that in the dryer when I get back. Low heat, 20 minutes, job done. It was warm again in that bag last night. Oh, that's a, there's a bit of a feather coming out there, look. Oh, this happens with every down bag, this. The feathers have got like sharp edges, haven't they? So they poke out. But yeah, that's it. So we'll see you on the next one, eh? Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. When you watch the video, there won't be there won't be loads of adverts. If there is, let me know if there's loads of adverts, right? Because lately there's been loads of videos with a lot of um, mid-roll ads. And I don't know if it's the um, person doing the video adding it in or YouTube doing it. Because I've never put mid-roll in mine. It's, there's nothing worse, you're watching a video and it's like, advert, two minutes, advert, two minutes, advert. It's like, oh, come watch it. Sorry, like, that's just the way it is. I can't watch videos with loads of adverts. So I don't put mid-roll, right? So if YouTube have put mid-roll, just let us know in the comments. There should be one at the beginning. And there might be one at the end. There's never, there should never be any throughout the video. You should, get, you should be able to watch the whole video without adverts. And that's the way I'm keeping it. I'm not putting mid-roll on, that ruins it. Ah, little rant there. Right, so we'll see you on the next one. Like Shakira said, right? I will always love you. Ooh.